Good job, everybody. My name's Ultimate Roger, and welcome back to Subnautica Experimental. Now, this episode, there are some funky bugs going on right now. The Aurora don't even know what's happening over there, but if you restore the ship, you can see the full extent of the texture glitch. There's also some texture glitches happening on the Cyclops, and it's all, it's all going wrong. And apparently it's because of Unity engine limit bug things. So essentially, I think what they've done is they've reached the limit of what the Unity engine they're using can do. Which is breaking things. So that's always nice. So they're going to have to find a way to work around that, I do believe. Um, not a lot of changes inside the Cyclops, don't think, except that is really loud now. Actually really hurts. Um, they've added this, which is incredible. This is the holographic, uh, the, well, the holographic Cyclops kind of thing. Looks awesome. They've changed the design of that a little bit as well to make it a bit more obvious that it's a health bar, I assume. Got the sonar still. All of that stuff is all... Nice and dandy. Another massive texture bug inside the Cyclops, and I put a modification station down, and it seems to have affected that as well, which is interesting. Um, basically, so far I've added the docking bay repair module, so that means that when you put a, a Seamoth or an exosuit into the docking bay, it should repair it, which is awesome. Uh, the sonar module, which obviously, as you can imagine, creates a sonar. The shield generator is the shield, and the Cyclops pressure compensator just, just makes you be able to go down a little bit further. Um, so yeah, interesting bugs happening at the moment, but it's it's all good, really. Um, so yeah, basically the new thing that they, they've added is they've added something called a decoy, which is going to be used, I think, to distract predators, and um, therefore I assume it makes a lot of noise or something. I'm not sure how that will work, send vibrations, perhaps. Another big bug with the... Um, the icon for this for the uh, life pod, but that's all good. Not entirely sure how the uh, decal works, but I haven't actually launched one yet, so it will be interesting to see how it works. Um, so, so the sonar works as normal. Got the shield. I can't remember if those sound effects were there last time. I'm pretty sure they were, but I think they're pretty loud. Although maybe that's just me turning things up. So I'm gonna deploy a decoy because I want to see what it actually is, and then we'll go and see if we can find a predator and deploy it with that and see if that makes a difference. Deploying decoy. So it's deployed decoy. So I'm not entirely sure what that means. So maybe we should go out and have a look. I'm not sure if it, the decoy will be like a full-size cyclops or something, but the, the I, when I first saw it, I thought it like was like a torpedo because it looked a bit like one. Oh, that that's probably it, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing in the image. So it's like a flashing. Ah, okay. So that is the decoy right there. That is an interesting bit of kit. I'm not gonna lie. And then it just disappears, so I assume that means it's reloaded back into our sub now. So we can go and use it again. Okay, so that's cool. So I want to see if this thing actually works. I'm gonna put it into action. You are the best captain on the planet. I'm not even squid. Did he just say what I thought he said? Did he say, like, you are the best planet on- You are the best captain on the planet. I'm not even squid. Did he say squidding or kidding? I swear he said squidding. I don't know. I'm not even going to question it. This is an interesting little audio cue there. Right, okay. Morning. Yeah, someone described to me what cavitate was. It was something to do with ho uh, something to do with oxygen in bubbles or something like that. I can't imagine. Can't um, remember exactly what it was, so sorry about that. But uh, I think it's something to do with us being really noisy and there being predators about it and they're getting a bit angry. Uh, which is understandable. So, what we'll do is we'll get out and we're going to spawn a reaper. Oh, that's really loud. Okay. Oh, that's also equally loud. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn down the volume to preserve my ear holes. I'm going to spawn a, a reaper. I'm going to get in the cyclops, and this should also show us whether the damage thing is working. Okay, so it's showing up on the sonar. Can't quite see it yet, though. Which is rather interesting. Ah, there it is. Okay, so if we go on, if we go on freedom now, then he should come after us. Okay, the, the thing's bugged a little bit. That's fine. Okay. Ah, yeah, they've changed the sound effect now as well. That's good. Okay, so there's the Reaper eating us. Right, let's get out of this. So, I don't think any damage has actually happened just yet. But let's put it on. Let's spawn some bone sharks as well, because I know they like to go after it. Spawn five of them. Oh, funky Dory. Turn no damage off. We should. There you go. Right, we're taking taking health. Ah, okay, so it's working now. Good. So it actually shows on the 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 
um, holograph where the damage is now, which is awesome. Uh, so you can really pinpoint, and I think when it's like that, that's external damage, I believe. Uh, so they, obviously you can't have damage there, because, I mean, not interior damage anyway, because you wouldn't be able to get to it to fix it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So we know that works. Now what I'm going to do is we're still being attacked by the things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on silent running mode and then I'm going to actually no, we should probably head standard and then I'm going to deploy a decoy and we'll watch on the sonar to see if they get attracted away from it. They appear to be going away from us except one of them. Oh no. No, I think they're going away from us. I think we lost them. Yeah, I think they got attracted to the decoy. Which would make perfect sense. So as you can see, we got a bit of external damage right where it said that we did have damage. There it is right there. And yep, yeah, they, they're right next to it. So they're being attracted by it now and I think it's just gone. So yeah, that works. That's awesome. Okay, that's fantastic. Because that's exactly what it's meant to do. Oh, someone else said something really interesting. It was something about fish can't see red. Okay, so essentially what I just said was a little bit wrong. Basically, red light out of all of the visible light. Thing, you have to think of it as like a spectrum. So red light is the least powerful. It has the least energy. Whereas blue light has the highest amount of energy. So they're on different sides of the visible light spectrum. Now, if you don't know anything about this, will be this will be... <clears throat> if you don't know anything about this, this will be really, really confusing. But basically, we see things on a wavelength of visible light. That probably made zero sense, and I don't understand what I'm talking about either, really, here. But we're learning about it in science, so I'm basically a genius. So, essentially, red light penetrates the least through the water because it's the least energized, so it doesn't have enough energy to penetrate really far through the water, whereas blue, I believe is the... Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, it's not blue, it's violet. It's violet. Violet is the one with the most energy, I think. I don't know what I'm... Ah, okay, so essentially, red has the longest wavelength, and violet has the shortest, and so the shortest wavelength has the most energy, and I think that's the one that can go further, so you can see violet better in the water than red from further away. So that might be why it's red inside the Cyclops, because from further away, it's much harder to be seen. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I Please don't quote me. I have literally no idea what I'm talking about. I just wanted to do a brief explanation. But please, if you do know what you're talking about, please tell me in the comments, because I'm just as interested as the next guy. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. There's not a lot more left to do. Except there was one thing on the main menu, which I will show you, actually. It's only something very, very small, so... I just thought it would be worth showing you. So, you get to the main menu, press play, and start a new game. Then there's a new description for survival, and it says, Crash land on a dangerous alien planet. Learn about your environment, scavenge resources, and manage hunger, thirst to survive. Main story mode. So, I guess they must be redoing these or something, or maybe they're just redoing that one. Because you can tell it's new, because it's all bugged out, because it's not quite big enough to fit all of those words in. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. There's not a lot else to say for the moment, so yeah, that's... All there is, really. So, I'm going to leave it here, guys. So, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you're feeling really, really generous, subscribe to become a Crunchy Zade. Until next one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Try, my friends.